In today's lesson, we're going to talk about masking and how it can be used to help create new geometry from an existing model as well as help pose your character. So first, let's look at the basics. Masks are basically a brush that allow you to select the faces of your geometry. You can do this by holding down the control button. To take away from a mask, you hold control and alt. Keep in mind the mask protects geometry, so anything that's not masked is basically what you're going to be messing with. You can invert your selection by holding control and tapping in the black space. To clear your mask, hold control and drag. Masks are very similar to the clipping brushes in that you have to hold a specific button down in order to use them. For the clipping menu, it was control and shift. As you can see, it changes your brush and gives you a new set. However, the masking set, you just hold down control. As you can see, new set. You have mask circle, mask curve, mask pen, mask lasso, pen, which is what we're currently using, which is basically you just painting it on there, and last but not least, of course, the rectangle. So again, very similar to the clipping menu, and they pretty much all act the same. You also have a masking section in your tool palette under masking. You can view your mask, which of course you would have to actually paint something on there, so you can turn that on and off. You can invert your selection. You can clear your mask. You can mask everything. You can even blur your mask, which of course just kind of blurs the edge. You can sharpen it, which brings it back. You can grow your mask out, which is the same as blurring in the only difference is that it actually pushes the entire mask rather than just simply thinning out the edges. You can also shrink down, which does the exact opposite, so <laughs> it's not just pushing the edges, it's pushing the entire mask. If you want to create an alpha from your mask, you can do that as well. Yay! <laughs> Butterfly effect of the boobs. Anyway, okay. You can also create a mask via ambient occlusion cavity, smoothness, intensity, hue, saturation, alpha, and even mask the alpha itself. And of course some of these actually have sliders you can play around with. So how do you use a mask to create new geometry? You can find the option in your subtool palette under extract. It also has its own settings. If you press extract, it'll create new geometry based on your selection. Now if you move your model before clicking accept, it'll simply erase the new geometry without finalizing it. So if you say extract again and say accept, you can see the brand new geometry in your palette. So clear that and turn everything off but our new geometry. There you go. Likewise, you can also use your masks to create groups by simply going down to the polygroup section and saying group masked. Now of course it doesn't actually look like it did anything but if you click on polygroups or polyfaces you can see the difference. This one's kind of pink, this one's kind of orange, they are separate polygroups. This is really good for Dynamesh as well. Finally you can use mask to help pose your character. So if you want to move her arms simply select them of course, you're probably thinking, well, wait, shouldn't I select everything but her arms? Well, the cool thing about masks is that you can select something and then hold control down and click into the blank space, and it will invert your selection. All you got to do then is go to Rotate, then simply move the Transpose tool to the proper area, basically where the joints are. And there you go. Now, of course, you are going to have some pinching involved, but uh, to fix that, all you have to do is blur your mask a little bit. So if we hit Control-Z and then said Blur, and then went back and tried moving her again, it's moving a bit more. This is, of course, you're going to have a lot of fine-tuning involved in this. Also, as a final note, you can use your masks to help create a bump map or normal map I just painted on a mask and then used Control and Alt to take away from that mask to create some pretty interesting patterns. 
and then of course use the inflate brush to push out that geometry.